Uh, hello friends so in this video we'll do a live recorded evaluation uh, of this sociology answer so let's read the question first what is new social movement elaborate your answer with a special reference to India so um, just by looking at the question uh, let's quickly go through what not to write in this answer so uh, what is new social movement so we um, it's good if we don't write the uh, difference between uh, old and new social movement and uh, um, elaborate your answer with a special reference to India so this second part it is not a sub part actually right so when you explain uh, this a uh, new social movement you have to give a special reference to India is that clear so um, let's say this question is of 20 marks um, now uh, let's look at the answer uh, prior to 1950s, social movements were considered to be associated with random uh, crowd behavior. During they were recognized, they were not recognized regularly. With the state assuming uh, welfare characteristic, social movements came to be called as new social movement. So, um, this is not uh quite a uh, good introduction um because uh, it does not uh, help us understand what new social movement is and how actually it arose so what a uh, major factor of uh, the old uh, social movement a major feature was their affiliation or their association with uh, political parties so what happened was uh, with the passage of time uh, there was a disenchantment with political parties uh, many uh, sections of the society they tended to feel that their problems are not being adequately addressed through uh, the conventional political process and thus became a, a new version of a social movement uh, that was uh, independent of uh, political parties okay so that's one major difference between old and new social movement now uh, you have to uh, give your answer with a special reference to India so after uh, two or three decades of uh, independence there was a same disillusionment with uh, democratic uh, politics uh, for example, sections like uh, students, women, farmers, etc. They uh, tended to realize that the uh, conventional democratic politics and uh, uh, channelizing their demands through political parties is not serving their purpose. That is why they started off with a new version of social movement that was the new social movement in the Indian context so please do mention uh, their association or disassociation with uh, the political parties in the introduction part itself okay now the next part is the major differences so the question does not uh, explicitly ask you the difference between old social movement and new social movement right so you can very well write these points itself but uh, you can mention the features of a new social movement so uh, you can make different sections like uh, uh, emergence then uh, features uh, then the components of new social movement and in these uh, in this component section you can incorporate examples like Dalit movement women's movement uh, farmers movement like that and uh, you can mention the criticism and then you can mention the conclusion and 
when you are writing these uh, uh, sections please give a special emphasis on india specific context because it is explicitly mentioned in the question okay uh, so you have mentioned like uh, india against corruption uh, the examples that you have quoted uh, nirbhaya movement because uh, the atrocities and violence uh, committed against uh, uh women that was a major uh, feature of a uh, new social movement because earlier the conventional uh, political process they are patriarchal right uh, male dominated so the typical women issues were not adequately highlighted in the conventional old social movement so that is one thing and uh, um this point as most of them are spontaneous ideology was um ideology was absent so we can't conclusively say that in old social movement ideology was absent so it is better to skip this point uh, other points are good but um i'm in this specific question if you can rename this section um it would be a uh, better aligned with the theme of the question so as i discussed uh, in uh, you have made a separate section for new social movement in the indian context so you can incorporate these points in the above uh, structuring that we have discussed uh, you have quoted gail ombet very good but uh, uh, do quote uh, rajni uh, kothari she has done some extensive work on a uh, new social movement you can specifically quote her uh, views also that will help you uh, add value to this answer next uh, another important element of new social movement is uh, they are specifically about um uh, cultural anxieties you can say uh identity related uh issues so um the old conventional movements they were mostly about redistribution of power they were mostly about economic uh inequality uh all these stuffs but uh, the new social movements were a little different in terms of the issues they were uh, concerned with so that is another important feature of um this new social movement so very good example of environmental movements so um they are uh, because these environmental movements uh, are an integral part of new social movement it is said that new social movements are more uh, concerned with the quality of life rather than just the power dynamics or the economic issues or hardships faced by different sections of the society and because these environmental movements and uh, uh women movements like that um it is said that uh, they cut across uh, class divisions uh, of society the new social movement they cut across class divisions uh because if there is some particular issue for example violence against women so women across higher class middle class lower class they will all participate same with environmental movements for example the chipko movement it is considered as a prime example of eco feminism okay um, there was also a explicit question on this in uh, upsc sociology so uh that is another important point coming to the conclusion new social movements thus have helped in revitalizing democratic values so you have quoted this example it is very good but uh you can also before this you can also mention how in the context of india there is a blurring of the boundary between uh, old and new social movement so that is an emerging trend a contemporary trend uh, with the help of example you can substantiate how it is happening and uh, uh, then you can mention in the conclusion that the new social movements have 
helped strengthen the civil society in India and which has in turn uh, strengthened the democratic uh, setup of uh, Indian society as a whole. So uh, that will uh, sound like you are uh, concluding this answer on a positive and optimistic note. At the same time, you are able to diversify the uh, uh, range of this answer by incorporating terms like civil society. So I hope this makes uh, sense. Out of uh, 20 marks, uh, I would give 8 marks for this answer. So your fundamentals are uh, pretty much in place. Uh, please work on the improvement areas. It is just the presentation and the structuring part that needs improvement. So for example, these clutters and all if that can be avoided, please work on the indentation issues. So uh, for example, if you have already uh, boxed this farmers movement, you can start the next line from here itself. So uh, please take care of these small, small issues that will uh, help you score at least 0.5 extra marks in uh, one answer. So that means uh, 9 to 10 marks in one paper. Just imagine the amount of difference it can create in your overall marks. Okay. So uh, keep practicing. All the best.